Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel guys. Today we're doing another one a day upload. Be ready to see new videos on this channel every single day. That's what we've been up to lately. Anyways, today we've got a very jam packed episode. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We're actually gonna go buy an entirely brand new swim bait setup. Uh, we ran into an issue. Devin broke off on a good fish the other day and it was only because we were kind of using some of our regular casting gear, not the heaviest of duty line was uh, on that reel and spooled up. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up a new reel a new rod, some new line, and uh, what else have we got in store? We're gonna take the boat out today, so first things first, I gotta go get that from storage. Then we're gonna make our way to probably like Walmart. I need to get a power inverter. Oftentimes when Devin and I make drives out to these lakes, and we're, you know, it's, it occupies a lot of the time throughout the day, she offers to drive while I go ahead and edit for you guys so we can continue doing these one-a-day uploads, and so when there's no power, I'm in trouble. I can't edit. So the laptop only lasts so long. We're going to get a power inverter for the Tundra. That way we can edit on the go. So when we make these one, two, or three hour drives to lakes, there's no shortage of work getting done. We got all the cats hanging out. Milo, what's going on, Marsh? Short for Marshmallow. Gina, what's going on? You're not a cat, but you're here. And then that's Max right there. And then everyone else is elsewhere. And get ready, guys, because literally the lake we're going to, this is a bigger one than we've been hitting on the boat. So we're going to have some fun. The record here is in the teens. So we have big potential. We're going to throw some swim baits today. Stay tuned. Let's hit the water. All right, y'all. First stop. Walmart. Let's get this power inverter for the edits and uh, also there's tons of people not wearing masks in Texas but uh, Walmart is packed today so we're gonna go ahead and be courteous to others. All right y'all we got the inverter let's hit the next spot. All right we have pulled up Bass Pro. All right y'all so who knows how cool they are with filming and what kind of music they're gonna be playing in here that's copywritten so I'm just gonna tell you guys we're in here for a new Shimano Tranks, man. We want another swim bait reel. It's gonna be hers. We're getting her the 200 size because that's all they have. I know the 300 is more popular. The 400 is what we currently have with the power handle. This one's just gonna have the larger double handle. We're gonna spool it up most likely with uh, some 25 pound fluoro just because uh, we're gonna be throwing some bigger baits on it and also looking at some swim bait rods. We don't have anything in mind. Just seeing what might be a good value out here uh, to share with you guys. So. Rod, reel, line, maybe some more beast owner hooks to rig up the citizens, and we're gonna hit this lake with some big fish with some big baits, man. I'm pumped. Guys, I just got, I want to say, it's not really my first rod and reel, but it's kind of my first official rod and reel. Uh, this guy is going to be set up for swim bait use only. As you guys have seen, that we've been using and throwing some of those bigger swim baits, and uh, it wasn't until a couple days ago and I broke off and I feel like a pretty dang good fish. We weren't using strong enough line and so therefore I was like, screw it, you know what? I want my own swim bait setup. So Weston has his, you've already seen it in multiple videos. It's gonna be that 400 tranks with that power handle. I went ahead, we made the trip over here to Bass Pro Shop here in Grapevine because it's the only place in the freaking DFW area that has it, but picked up its little brother. This is the Tranks 200 HG. It's a seven two to one gear ratio and we went ahead and paired it up with the Seaguar Abrazex 20 pound fluorocarbon. So hopefully we're not gonna be breaking off with this heavier line. This stuff is made to handle the biggins. We went ahead and paired it up with our first St. Croix rod as well, actually. This is gonna be, it's a 710 heavy Mojo Bass. I'm super excited. I'm digging this color. It's a beautiful color. I'm kind of in love with this. This is so cool looking. Like, I think I'm more excited about this than I should be. We've heard a lot of really good things about this Mojo Bass swim bait rod, and uh, we have to go try it out. So the next stop is probably gonna be taking the freaking boat onto the water and throwing some swim baits. Let's get after them. Okay, one more stop, man. Devin and I gotta celebrate the new purchase with a little Mexican food. We're hitting Chewy's up. You guys already know the deal. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a second. Man, 
hanging out Chewy's was delicious, so we are ready to get on some fish. It is now just a couple hours before sunset. We're hoping to get on an awesome evening bite. We're pulling up to the lake right now, gonna get this thing backed in and fish some new setups for some big bass. We're out on the water, man, waiting for Devin. She's parking the truck, and dudes, no one gives a dang about social distancing out here. The dock has like a hundred people on it, dude. Everyone's just jumping in, swimming. Like they're having to get out of the way as I back the boat and they're like people all around the boat. Pretty funny. Anyways, should be some good fishing out here, man. We're pretty stoked. New lake, let's get it. First cast on the new rig. This feels like such a little reel for this big old rod. Oh no, they're wakeboarding. They're wakeboarding. I think I just had a tick. Pretty like 98% sure. It was like the lightest, but then I, I kept reeling and... Man, I'm loving the way that this thing's casting. Oh, something's chasing him. Something big just went in full. That was crazy. Oh! They just dispersed. A big bass just broke through there and was trying to take out that bait. That was crazy. Oh, fuck. Oh. I mean, it's not coming out. Like, I mean, here, I'll get out. <laughs> You're gonna make it. <laughs> nice. What's happening? <laughs> Fifteen dollar treble hook bait saved. I got it. Well, y'all been out here for a couple hours now. Sun is setting, but we found a sweet little zone we wanted to hit before we left. We're actually going to track across the lake real quick, see if we can't get a couple more bites before we split y'all. Stick around. Top water, probably. So now it's forward. So now it's looking kind of in front of and behind the boat. Okay, there's fish. All right, y'all, we just made it to the other side of the lake. We're seeing fish burst at the surface, and we're going to try and give it that last Hail Mary attempt and go big or go home. We're throwing the buzz bait, y'all. It is 8.30. Sunset is uh, already passed, basically, but we still got that last bit of light. I'm just going to throw the black buzz bait. It's not like ultra clear water here, so this uh, golden black should be able to get their attention in uh, somewhat less than ideal clarity. It's definitely not bad. I would throw natural colors here, but it's not um, crystal clear, like I say. Oh, I see your buzz bait. I see the buzz bait, too. That's awesome. I bet we see something come up and hit it on that thing. It almost looked like there was something chasing it up, right? Yeah, it did. Dang. I think it's trying to eat those bait. It's right in front of us. All right, let's go hit this. I think this is what Mark was saying was kind of good too, was the water ski area. Y'all, yeah, it's getting dark out and we have never used our navigation lights. So we are gonna set these things up and see how they don't work. Okay, so it was like, and then nav. So if we do anchor, it's just the back. Heck yeah, man. Lights are on. When we put it on the anchor setting, it's just the light in the back. And when you hit the nav lights, it's the front light and the back light illuminated at the same time. Let's get those baits back out, try and catch one before, I don't know, before we don't. Is that the wake ramp, wakeboard ramp? 
All right, guys, we gave it a solid A for effort on a new lake that we have never hit with new gear, man. Devin is super pumped. We're gonna hit you guys with a recap when we get to the house. Let's go ahead and get this boat loaded up. We will uh, see you in a minute. All right, y'all, we're back at stores. Just got her all cleaned up. She is charging, ready for the next big adventure. You know it's gonna be on tomorrow's video, but we do need help naming her. So yeah, we need y'all's help naming the boat man. <laughs> but anyways, we had such a fun day. So thrilled for Devin on her new swim bait rod and reel combo, man. Uh, you know, after that break off on a big one just the other day, so proud to have getting her something that she can. Look forward to catching some big fish on and hopefully not break off, but we'll see what happens in the future. Also, we found out that that lake we were on was a no wake lake uh, by a friend who saw my Instagram story like as we were leaving and we didn't know. There was like other boaters definitely running. There was also a guy on a wakeboard like not in the wakeboarding zone of the anyways we didn't know what an awesome day we will catch you on tomorrow's upload be looking out man pumped <gasps>